Hi viewers hope everyone is doing great welcome to our channel let us learn creation in this video let us learn about bioenzyme a magical solution that can be easily prepared at home using simple ingredients that are available in our kitchen first let us learn what it is all about bioenzymes are natural cleaners that are produced by the simple fermentation of fresh kitchen waste unrefined sugar and water it's first introduced by dr rosukon kumpamo from thailand the simple fermentation process creates natural chain of proteins mineral salts and enzymes these natural cleaners have an amazing potential to break down change create and catalyze that makes it an amazing and magical cleaning aid There are two variation in which the bioenzymes can be prepared. When prepared with pills in a plastic bottle or the container, the solution is non-edible and can be used only for external cleaning and healing usages. When prepared with the fruit, vegetable pulp or other edible parts in a glass container, the bioenzyme is edible and the most nutritious drink. that aids in multiplying the good microbes within our bodies now let us learn about the characteristics of the bioenzyme it is dark brown and has a strong sweet sour fermented scent echo enzyme is a multi purpose liquid and its applications car household agriculture animal husbandry waste water and sewage cleansing etc from hand wash to car wash it can clean anything and everything these are highly cost effective that can be made in every single household with no or minimal investment it heals our wounds in no time due to the antiseptic properties available in them bioenzymes can inhibit the activities of harmful microorganisms especially pathogens and bad bacteria and helps the plants to grow well if every household makes and uses the bioenzyme pollution problems will be eased and we will be able to live healthier lives with a clean home clean pure water bodies and a clean green environment now let us learn about the preparation of the bioenzymes The foremost thing needed is an airtight plastic container which can hold 15 parts of water. Make sure to use the plastic containers especially the beginners. Please avoid metal containers as they corrode and the glass containers as they do not expand. The next ingredient is the sugar. Any unprocessed or unrefined sugar varieties like brown sugar, molasses, jaggery or the black sugar can be used one part of the sugar or the molasses should be added the next ingredient needed is the water any water source is fine except for distilled water 10 parts of water should be added to the container that can hold 15 parts of water make sure there is enough space for the air to circulate on the top of the bottle above the water level in the bottle Finally the fresh kitchen waste to be added like fruit peels vegetable peels leaves and flowers should be added to make fresh smelling bioenzyme solution we need to add citrus peels or the pandan leaves three parts of the organic waste should be added into the solution now let's see how the reaction process goes on after we add all the ingredients The production of the bioenzymes typically involves first fermentation where the simple sugars in the raw materials are converted to alcohol by the yeasts present in it. The resultant alcohol is further oxidized to acetic acid by the acetic acid bacteria during the last fermentation. Through the fermentation and oxidation the ingredients used for making the echo or the bioenzyme solution will have effect on each other due to the presence of the acetic acid bacteria creating a complex but stable enzymatic ecosystem after 3 months for the science lovers you can look into the image given in the right side for the 
exact chemical reactions that's happening in the solution. During the preparation of the solution, two kinds of respiration happens in the solution. The first is the aerobic respiration. Let's get into the details about it. The enzymes are produced from the raw materials that is the fruit and the vegetable dregs containing sugar or the starch in a two-stage process, first being fermentation followed by oxidation. Initially, ethanol is produced undergoing the aerobic respiration. That is, we open the container and stir up and release the formed biogas and allow the exchange of gases both in and out at least once daily for one month. Push the floating dregs downward every once in a while during the first month. Make sure to use the broad mouthed plastic container so that there won't be excess pressure during the circulation of the air. Next comes the anaerobic respiration. Subsequently, the solution turns to acetic acid as the main ingredient along with the other organic acids undergoing anaerobic respiration and through the oxidation process where we keep the solution unopened and undisturbed in a clean space without direct sunlight and open rarely if necessary. Acetic acid bacteria are present everywhere in the environment. They are present in the air, in the water, in the fruits and vegetable drugs that we are adding in our solution. They may propagate in the food materials that contain sugar or in the fermented products which contain alcohol. Through fermentation and oxidation, the ingredients used for making echo enzyme or the bioenzyme or the garbage enzyme will have effect on each other due to the presence of acetic acid bacteria creating a complex but stable enzymatic ecosystem after a minimal period of 3 months. Place a cool, dry area. Avoid direct sunlight. Let it ferment for at least 3 months before use. After the 90th day, you will see a white layer that is the yeast on the surface and the peel settling down. This indicates that the bioenzyme is ready to use. The solution becomes so concentrated and strong as they mature for a longer time, at least for a period of 6 months. Then extract out the water by filtering it and leaving only the sediment. The sediment can be dried to become fertilizer or may be used for the next batch as a fermentation starter as this will reduce the number of days in producing the bioenzymes into half. So we can get the second batch in half the time, say 45 days instead of the 90 days. This is the new batch prepared by us. We started by 13th 6, 2020 and now you are seeing the matured bioenzyme solution. Since the vegetable peas and the dregs which are used to be thrown to the garbage is used as the ingredients, this solution is called as the garbage enzyme. Since it helps to improve the ecosystem more better, the solution is rightly called as the echo enzyme. Also, during the maturation of the solution, the living organisms from the water, from the sugar, from the vegetable and the fruit dregs, from the air, especially the acetic acid bacteria, turns the solution acidic with wonderful medicinal benefits added in it. Also, the organisms learn to live without the food that is the sugar and are able to multiply after the maturation date also. That is the reason we ask the solution to be kept for some more time for the solution to get stronger and stronger. That's the reason the solution is called as the bioenzyme. Now let us get into the analysis of the echo enzyme or the garbage enzyme that is the solution we have prepared. The harvested bioenzyme solution was tested in Chennai Testing Laboratory Private Limited, Chennai for parameters like pH, TDS, BOD, COD, ammonia nitrogen, phosphate and microbial parameters like total coliform and total plate count. The characteristics of the harvested bioenzyme solution were analyzed after filtration. 
have attached the soft copy of the report here for the reference to know more deeper about the bioenzyme solution harvested. Here we have listed the characteristics of the echo of the bioenzyme solution harvested and analyzed. During the process of fermentation, carbohydrates were converted into volatile acids. The organic acids present in the fruit drinks were also leached out into the solution. So, the garbage enzyme, that is, the prepared solution, is acidic in nature due to the presence of the volatile acid and the organic acid in the solution. These results indicate that the process of fermentation of fruit and vegetable drinks have the potential to produce a solution that contains biocatalytic enzyme known as garbage enzyme. The solution were given in the lab for analysis as a part of the project work handled by my son Shivanishan Srinivasan and his friend Johan Premjit. Both these lovely children took part in the Kuwait National Science Congress project 2019-2020 by SAF Kuwait. By taking part in the project, both these kids were blessed to know about this solution more deeper and they have been awarded the title of Outstanding Performers. After preparing the solution, we can use the liquid and infuse other medicinal leaves like mint, neem, betel, ajwine, etc. for added values and for specific purposes. We can infuse for a minimum period of 15 days or more number of days for a stronger infusion. By this, a nice aroma can be enjoyed when using it. The infusion of flowers can be done the same way. The bioenzymes will never expire. The longer you keep, the stronger the harvested liquid becomes. The power of the echoenzyme will be enhanced when water is added to it because the bioenzyme solution is acidic in nature. The echoenzyme from the peels in the plastic bottles are non-edible and are useful only for external purposes. The bioenzyme is best to use minimum after a period of 6 months after harvesting the solution. It should not be stored in a refrigerator. The longer time we wait for the solution to mature, the stronger it becomes and its medicinal properties will be enhanced tremendously. We understood that during fermentation, followed by the oxidation process in the solution, the carbohydrates were converted into volatile acids and in addition, the organic acids present in the waste material also leached out into the fermented solution and so the pH of the garbage enzyme was acidic in nature. Now let's discuss about the precautionary measures to be taken when preparing as well as when handling the solution. Do not use glass or metal containers that cannot expand during the enzyme preparation. The longer it takes, the better it gets. The harvested bioenzyme will never expire. Do not store in the refrigerator. The garbage or the ingredients for making the enzyme should not include paper, plastic, metal or glass materials. The ideal color of the echo enzyme is dark brown. If it turns black, add in the same amount of the sugar or the molasses to start the fermentation process again. If you encounter flies or worm in the container, leave it and the chemical reaction of the enzyme will dissolve them naturally. Make full use of the echoenzyme residue by reusing it for the next batch of enzymes. Use as a fertilizer by drying the residue, blending and burying it in the ground. And to help purify sewage by grinding the residue, pouring it into the toilet bowl, adding some brown sugar and flushing it down the drains. Although many people are skeptical and believe that such a simple solution cannot replace the powerful detergents in the chemical products, the user testimonials say quite the opposite. Its uses are manifold. 
It cleans and disinfects all the surfaces in the household. It effectively removes the salt scales. It effectively breaks down the grease, the stains and various other impurities. They are able to separate the pesticides and the other chemical coatings from the fruits and the vegetables. It helps in eliminating the harmful pathogens. It's able to disintegrate the molds. It cleans and freshens the clothing and the footwear. It's able to purify the air and eliminate the odors. It acts as a natural pest repellent and helps fight against cockroaches, rats, flies and mosquitoes. It's able to eliminate the electromagnetic radiation. It's able to protect the environment and it's able to purify the groundwater. Echo enzyme can improve the drainage around our house and clean the wastewater from the factories and the farms. By pouring the echo enzyme or its residues into the sewers, cesspools and the ditches, we can prevent the pipes from being blocked, purify the wastewater and ultimately clean the rivers and oceans, providing a good water source for the human society. Finally, after learning about the benefits of this bioenzyme solution, which anyone can easily prepare at a minimal cost at home, we have to approach the life with responsibility to use this enzymatic solution for all the external cleansing purposes rather than the harsh chemicals. As responsible persons, we will try to make all our friends and family to be aware of this simple but the magical solution that are able to clean anything and everything from hair wash to car wash. We would like to recommend the schools to add the simple preparation of the bioenzyme in the curriculum or as a workshop to make the children become aware of this wonderful nature's gift to save the ecosystem. Hotly thanks and our gratitude to Hila Boskasar and Shri Sir who have given a complete knowledge and awareness about this magical solution to enter Tamil Nadu. See you all soon in another useful video. Till then, take care, have a nice time, bye-bye.